data consolidation. So here I have three tables. One is data related to Hyderabad. One table is showing data related to Hyderabad. The second data is show, second table is showing data related to Addanki. The third data is showing data related to D. I have three tables which are stored in different Excel worksheets. Hyderabad store one sheet. Addanki store details are in one, one sheet. Delhi store details are in one sheet. Now, now I want consolidated sales report of Delhi, Hyderabad and Addanki stores. For that, what I can do? I have to simply click on the cell and I have to click on consolidate option. Here, consolidation of data has to be done. Okay. So, what is consolidation? The data present in different locations will be combined and aggregation of data will be done by using this option, consolidation. Okay. Now, I am selecting this. Different functions are available. But for me, standard deviation, variance, max, min, product count, all these are available. Different functions like different functions like sum, count, average, max, standard deviation, variance, all these are available to us. But for me, sum is okay. So reference. What is the reference I have? Hyderabad store data, reference number one. I'm adding it. Then Addanki store data, reference number two. I am adding it and the third one is Delhi store data. I am selecting that. Now I am adding it. Now Addanki, Delhi, Hyderabad. The data from three different Excel sheets, three different Excel sheets will be taken by using consolidate option and I am simply clicking on OK. Now, the data is taken from these three stores and it is combined and consolidated data by applying some function on it is clearly displayed here. Okay. Consider that I don't have labels here. Okay. In consolidation, after taking the references, the labels of top row, suppose if I don't take this uh, top row directly, if I want to take labels from the data which is, which is taken for consolidation, or if I think about taking labels of uh, left column from the consolidated data, that can be also done during consolidation. Okay. Now coming to the next option that is relationships. Now to understand relationships, I am starting with insert pivot table. Generally the relationships will be present in data model. I am selecting data model and I am clicking on pivot table from data model in existing worksheet. I am clicking on OK. Now, all the tables in the workbook are visible to us here. But for me, the total fee, courses, branch fee, branch fee and branch are the tables which are used for establishing relationship. Okay. So, here these four tables like students data or it is also have name like total fee. Okay. Total fee table 
and branch free table and branch free table branches table and courses table in student data the branch the course fee received from a particular course month and date on which it is received the data is stored in branch student data the total fee received by a particular branch from all the courses is stored in branches data the code of the branch and branch name is stored in course data table the course code and course name data is present in this manner four different tables okay better to store all these in table format all these four tables are present in four different excel worksheets and we have connection from one table to another like here course code branch code are there even fee received so the fee received here is directly connected to fee received here and date is directly connected to date here month is directly connected to month over there and branch code the data in first sheet or students data sheet is connected to branch student data branch wise data adk hyd these codes are having connection to next sheet that is branches data and here student data where we have courses these courses are connected to course data table present in another sheet now how to establish relationship between these and how to use them in a pivot table now before establishing relation i can use this for i am using this for creating pivot table so branch name is considered as a filter and course name is considered for columns and fee received is considered for values and for rows course code is considered okay now if i see the data here the data is not correct so almost for every column the same data is is visible branch name okay this is not correct so how to get correct data in pivot table when pivot tables are created by using data table in such case we have to create relationships how these relationships are to be created i know that total fee course code is related to courses course code and i know that branch code is related to branch branch code okay now i have relationship between these two now branch fee so i have to establish one more relationship branch fee branch code is related to branch branch code okay now the connection is established okay if i refresh this okay now i can see the correct data okay even one more relationship is present in the data one more relationship is 
total fee branch code is related to branches branch code this relationship is already established now you can see proper data okay proper data and grand totals now what i am doing is i am adding fee received in columns so total fee received here and branch wise fee details branch wise fee details okay Now I can see data in correct manner. Now I can see correct data after establishing relationship that is the use of relationships in Excel.